Welcome to lesson 3.8. We're going to be concluding our fractions and decimals and percent. And in this one, you're going to learn how to solve problems involving percent, including questions which involve discount, uh, percentage of a number, and we're also going to introduce you to the topics of uh, taxes. So we're going to be, this is quite a long, you know, long lesson. It's going to take some time. So let's just get started. We'll go through step by step. We use percentage in money a lot. I could ask the question, where have you seen percentage in the world of money? And we've done this before. We, you, you already answered to me in the last lesson, discount, profit, sales, tax, tips, etc. And you're going to have to calculate all these types of questions eventually. One of the skills we need for these types of problems is calculating the percentage of a number. For example, what is 30% of 155 or what is 20% of 45? To calculate this, we needed to change the percent to its equivalent decimal form and multiply. So it's not going to be difficult. We're just going to have to show you how to do it. The one thing you have to understand is the reason that we multiply is right here. That this word multiply means to, means the word, sorry, the word of means multiply. So when it says 20% of 45, this means to multiply. <clears throat> so we're going to have to, we're going to use that as we go. So here's our first question. What is 30% of 56? Your first step is to convert the 30% into a decimal. Now we've done this before, so 30 divided by 100 is 0 0.3. Now, because the word of is here, the word of means multiply. Okay? If I have three things and I want to have two of those, that means I'm going to have six when I'm done. So that means 2 of 3 is 6. That's why we use the word, we multiply here. So now, what is 0 0.3 multiplied by 56? And you're going to use your calculator for this. You're not going to be expected to do this by hand. And that gives you 16.8. Now, whatever the unit is that you're working with here, <clears throat> That's the unit you're going to be including. So if this was 30% of $56, your answer would be in dollars. This is 30% of 56 kilograms, your answer would be in kilograms. Because there's no unit given here, the answer is just simply 16.8. You can use the word units if you want, but in most cases we just leave it as 16.8. So if you take a look here, we did two things. You converted your percent into a decimal, and you multiply your decimal times the number. So, let's see if you can follow those steps in this example right here. So, pause the recording and find out what is 82% of 287. Okay, so 82% has got to be converted to a decimal. So, 82 divided by 100 is 0 0.82. So, now 0 0.82 has to be multiplied by 287. Okay, so that would give us 235. 0.34. So, 82% of 287 is 235.34. So, turn the page. I want you to do 75% of 21. So, pause the recording and do that question. Okay? So, here's the next step. 75% of 21, first thing you do is change 75 into a decimal. So you divide by 100 to get 0 0.75. Then you take 0 0.75 you multiply it by 21. And 0 0.75, using your calculator, is going to give you 15.75. So there you've now done the first one. The first calculation is like the, you know, I'm showing you how to hammer a nail. So now let's build something. The discount uses percentage off of a number. Like, for example, when you have a sale, it's 30% off, which means you're going to subtract some of the money from the original price. Remember that discount is the amount, of, is the, sorry, discount is the amount that a price is reduced. This is important. Now, some of the girls probably shop more than boys, so they'll probably have an advantage remembering this. Guys who don't shop, um, they probably will have a more difficult time. But the price, whenever you have a discount, it's always lowered. The price is cheaper. That's why they call them a discount. And it's usually given as a percentage off. So, for example, 25% off or 30% off. A typical question looks like this. A coat is on sale for 30% off. The regular price is $85.
what's the discount, and what's the new price. To do this, the first thing you need to do is to find out what 30% in this decimal form is. Okay, so 0 0.30% divided by 100, that's 0 0.3. And I kind of messed up here, I put it in the question down here. So now that you've got 30% in into its decimal form, you have to multiply that by the price of the coat to find out what the discount is, because you want 30% of it. So this becomes 0 0.3 times $85. That means <coughs> that this coat is going to be $25.50 off. Now remember, that's the discount, okay? That's how much it's reduced by, okay? That is not what you pay. That is what you don't pay. Okay, so let's back up before going to the next part. So what is the new price? Well, if we know it was $85 to begin with, and we're taking off $25.50, then what you need to do is take the $85 and subtract $22.50 from it. And that's going to give you $59.50. So there is your new price. So going back here, you're going to take, convert it into decimal form, multiply, that finds you the discount. Then you take the discount, and you subtract it from the original price to find out what you're going to pay. So if you went to buy this, this coat at the store, you would pay $59.50. You would not pay $85. If you tried to pay $25.50, the clerk would probably keep the coat and tell you to go away. Okay. A used car is on sale for 15% off. The regular price is $3,000. What is the discount and the new price? And this is exactly the same as the one we just did. Instead of 85 bucks, I have 3,000. Instead of 30% off, I have 15% off. So pause the recording and do this question. Okay, so first thing you have to do is find the discount. So 15 divided by 100 is 0 0.15, and then you take 0 0.15, Multiply it by 3,000, and 0 0.15 times 3,000 is $450. Now, that means the discount is 450 bucks. That's how much you're going to save on the car if you choose to buy it. The new price is going to be equal to the original minus the, the discount. Okay, so this is 3,000 bucks. Take away 450. So $3,000 take away 450 is 2,550 bucks. So if you bought the price, or you bought the car, you wouldn't pay three grand or three thousand dollars. You'd spend 2,550. Turn the page. Okay, here we go. A calculator is on regularly priced at 17.49. The store places the calculator on sale for 40% off. What is the new price? This one's all yours. So pause the recording and do it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is convert the percent into a decimal. That gives you 0 0.4. Then take 0 0.4, multiply it by the original price, which in this case was $17.49. And when you do that, you're going to get basically 6.996. <coughs> 6 now we have a problem. Uh, money only goes this far, two decimal places. So this 6 is going to cause this to go up. So this 99 is going to become 100. So this $6.99 is going to go up by a penny. So that means you're going to end up getting $7 as your discount. Now, my new price is going to be $7, sorry, $17.49. Take away the 7 bucks. So that means you're going to have $10.49. Now, there is another way of doing this. In class, I would have asked someone to try to figure it out. But I want you to think about this. If this is a picture of the money you would spend on that calculator, and 40% of it is going to be taken off, that means there's 60% left. So this is the total cost. This is the $17.49. Okay? Now, if you want, to do it this way, this is a little bit e another way of looking at it. Rather than taking the 40% and finding out that it's $7, and 
and then subtracting it to get 1049, what you can do is you can say, well, I know that this, the cost of the actual calculator is going to be 60% of the original. So what you could do is find 60% and then you wouldn't have to subtract. So 60% of the 1749 would be 60 divided by 100, 0 0.6. 0.6 times 1749, believe it or not, it becomes seven, okay, the number is $10.49. Okay? So rather than having to do this subtraction here, what you end up doing is to get the 60, you're going to take the 100 and take away the 40 to get the 60. Now, some people like doing this subtraction rather than this, sorry, the other subtraction up here. Yeah, no, this subtraction here, right? So they prefer to do this one rather than this one because they find this one's easier. 100 take away 40 is a lot easier. It's up to you. You don't have to do it this way if you don't want to. Okay, now, shopping is one place that we use a lot of percentages. The other is taxes. Now, taxes are an extra amount that you pay, and we pay that money to help pay for the things that we use. Things like roads, who fixes the roads, who paves the roads, who builds the roads, who builds the bridges, who fixes the bridges. What about the fire department, the police, your health care, your hospital, your schooling? I mean, that is free, but you still have to pay for it in a way. All this money has to come from somewhere. So the people in our country pay taxes to help pay for these things. In Alberta, we have one single tax called the Goods and Services Tax. This is called the GST. It used to be 7% many years ago, and now it's been reduced down to 5%. Other provinces, um, <clears throat> in other provinces, there's another tax called provincial sales tax. So they have two taxes. They have a government tax. This is federal. This is from Ottawa. That's 5%. And then their, their province throws another tax on top of it, so they get taxed twice. Now, in Alberta, we don't do that. We only have one, okay? All taxes are added to the price of an item you pay, so they increase the price. That's why a lot of people think taxes are bad. GST is bad. I wish we didn't have it. Well, if you don't pay GST, look at the things you have to do without. Now, you may not worry about this one, but I bet you next time you're sick or uh, in trouble and you want to go to the hospital, you know, you might want to think it, but, uh, think it over. The average cost of having a baby in the States right now is right around 8000 bucks. And if you don't have a health care plan, you have to pay $8,000 out of your savings. In Canada, you can have that baby basically for free, depending on, on how things work out. But in most cases, it's always free. So, taxes are a good thing. But you always add them. Discount is subtracted. Uh, taxes are added on top. So, if you paid a dollar... You had 5% tax, 5% of a dollar is 5 cents, so you're going to end up paying a dollar and 5 cents. Okay, so you, something costs a dollar, you pay a buck five. So, let's take a look at a question. A desk is sold at Office Depot for $450. What is the GST and what is the total price? Now, GST is always 5%. It never changes. So, just like we had 30% off or 15% off, 5% is added on, so you still need to find 5% of 450. So your first step is to convert 5% into a decimal, and it's 0 0.05. Then you're going to take the 0 0.05, and you're going to multiply it by 450. Doesn't this sound familiar? You'll notice that all the percentage calculations, they're always the same. Nothing changes. Okay? That means that the GST on this desk is $22.50. Okay, so there's your GST, 22.50. Now remember that the total cost is going to be the cost of the price, or price of the item, plus the GST. So this was a $450 uh, desk, and you're going to pay 22.50 for your GST. That means you're going to pay 472.50 when you add them, up, add them together. Okay, so turn the page. Here is a simple question. Instead of using a desk, I've used a freezer. So pause the recording and do this question. All right, so now that you have it completed, a freezer is $859.59. The GST uh, has to be calculated. Now remember, GST is always 5%. It never changes. It's always going to be 5%. Well, I guess that's not working right. Okay, so first thing, 5 divided by 100. 
equals 0 0.05 and 0 0.05 times 859.99. Now this looks very familiar, doesn't it? Just like we did a minute ago. You're going to get 42.9995. Now we have a problem, don't we? Remember money only goes this far. So this 99 cents is going to be increased by a dollar, so you're going to, sorry, by a penny, so you're going to get $43. So rounding this to the nearest cent gives us $43. So what is the cost? Well, the total cost is going to be the 859.99 plus the 43, which means you should have had $902.99 as your final cost. Okay? Try this question. Okay, so first thing you need to do is remember 5% is our sales tax, so 5 divided by 100. That is 0 0.05. 0 0.05 times $3.99. When you do the math on that, you're going to get 0 0.1. 1995. Now remember we have a cutoff on money, two decimal places. So that means this 19 cents is going to become 20 cents. Okay? So the tax is going to be 0 0.20. Now remember to read carefully. This question only asked you for the tax. It didn't ask you for anything else, so you didn't have to calculate the new price. Okay, so let's put together discounts and taxes. So this is the way it's going to work when you go into a computer store, sorry, into a, a store. Mrs. ZD goes shopping. She sees a new computer on sale, and it says it's $12,275. The computer is on sale for 30% off. If she buys the computer, what will she pay, including GST? Now, here's the thing you have to understand. When you do um, shopping, you only pay GST on what you would pay for the item. So since this computer is discounted or reduced in price by 30%, what we have to do is we have to find the price after the 30% has been taken off. That is what we pay GST on. So my discount, again, 30 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.3. So to find my discount, I'm going to take the 0 0.3 or the 30% off of the $1,275. When I do that, I end up getting $382.00. And 50 cents. So that is the discount. So my new price is going to be equal to 1,275 take away 382.50. And you notice in each case I'm putting down exactly what I did and what I got. Okay? So that means that the new price of this computer is going to be $892.50. Okay? Now this is what you're going to calculate GST on. So I'm going to stop here, and I want you to find the GST on 892.50. So pause the recording, and then restart it when you're done. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is define 5%. I'm going to divide it by 100 and turn this into a decimal at 0 0.05. 0 0.05, you're going to multiply that by 892.50. And that means that when you're done, you're going to have $44, sorry, 4 4.625. Now remember, we're in money again, so chop it off. The 5 causes the 2 to go up, so we're going to have $44.63 here for GST. So the total cost is going to be the $892.50, that's the price of the, of the computer. We're going to add the GST, which is $44.63, and when you're done, you should have $937.50. And 13 cents. So when Mrs. Edie went shopping, she would come back and tell Mr. Edie, look what I bought, a brand new computer. I saved a whole bunch of money.